Um, today's, in today's lesson, you might find it helpful to have something like a sock or um, a flannel or a piece of belt or something like that. Just um, something, so I've got a sock out of my drawer. Um, but you might just need something for something we're going to do towards the end of the end of the lesson. So welcome to the next FitSit class. So in today's class, we're going to pursue the theme that we've been exploring of more mobile shoulders and use of the arms. So, but we'll start with a little warm up first. So please come and sit towards the front edge of your chair and. It's always worth just taking a moment to notice how your how you, your spine is when you come to the front edge. Do you tend to round back? And as you all know by now, one way of helping to address that is to bring your attention to your lower tummy and allow it to push out and down towards the pubic bone, just to help engage the lower back so that your weight is coming down more into the middle part of the sitting bones. Please just have your hands on your thighs to begin with and then move your uh, mirror right knee a little bit to the outside and a little bit to the inside. So just a um, nice easy movement, no strain. Uh, of course what we're doing here is finding movement in the hip joint but uh, as a side effect changing the pressure underneath the foot. And then pause, bring your attention to your left knee and begin to move that knee just a little bit to the outside and a little bit to the inside. Always interesting to note, is it different with this hip joint compared to the other one? Good. And then pause, bring your attention to your right foot and if possible keeping the knee fairly quiet, begin to lift the big toe side of the foot and then the little toe side of the foot. So just um, shifting the pressure to the outside edge of the foot and to the inside edge of the foot but keeping the knee fairly quiet and then pause and please do the same with the left foot so just looking to lift the big toe side of the foot and then the little toe side of the foot but keeping the knee fairly quiet in space so here it's more a movement in the ankle than in the hip joint now pause um, keep your left hand on the right thigh and begin just to stroke the right hand down the lower leg. And as you're doing this, allow the head to look down to release. And then explore going down the outside of the lower leg to the inside of the lower leg and then towards the back of the leg too. And then please pause um, with your left hand now Begin to just slide the hand easily down the lower leg a few times and then go to the outside of the lower leg. Again, really letting your head, you, you look, you're looking down as you're doing this and then go to the back of the lower leg and then come back up. Okay. And then please bring the right hand onto the left thigh and begin just the same thing. So just, you just reach to wherever you can comfortably get. So no strain, just checking that you're managing to keep the hand soft as you're doing this. And then pause, bring the left hand onto the right thigh and begin just again, just to explore easy reaching down the lower leg towards the foot, maybe down the outside of the lower leg to the inside of the lower leg and then to the back of the lower leg to good and then release. Now, just bring your attention to the right toes and just curl the toes under and release. So just curling the toes under and release. And then once more curling the toes under and release. And then do the same with the left foot. So just curling the left toes under and release. Once more left toes under, release and then left toes again and release. And now do the right toes, release, the left toes, release, the right toes, release, and then the left toes, good, release. And then both sets of toes together, release, 
and again both sets of toes together um, and release and then last time curling the toes under and then release. Now bring your attention to your right foot and imagine there is a peg stuck between the first and the second toe into the ground and you're just going to lift the heel high, take it to the outside and put the heel all the way down on the floor. Lift the heel high and bring it to the inside and put it all the way down. And you can see that as I'm moving the heel to say to the outside, I'm letting the knee fall to the inside and vice versa. So by doing that, just allowing the knee to swing to the one side and then the other, you can perhaps feel then we're getting some lovely internal rotation and external rotation in the hip joint. Good. Now pause. Bring your attention to your left foot. The peg is between the big and second toe. Could you lift the heel high, take it to the outside and put it all the way down on the floor. Lift it high and bring it to the inside and put it down. So you're lifting it high, taking it to the outside and putting it down, lifting it high and bringing it to the inside and putting it down, once more to the outside and then to the inside, good, and then please leave that alone. And then just have the arms comfortably down by your side and begin just to lift the shoulders up to the ears and let them fall away from the ears. So, just lifting uh, the shoulders towards the ear, letting them fall away from the ear. And as you do this, careful that you're not substituting the elbows, trying to lift the elbows to lift the shoulders. So you just want to keep the elbows nice and soft. And this time we'll turn it into circles. So you come up to the ear, roll the shoulders forward and down, squeeze them together behind you, come up towards the ears, roll them forward and down, squeeze them together behind you, and then reverse the direction. So they come together behind you, they go down, come forward, up towards the ears, together and down, and then once more forward, all the way up towards the ears, together behind and down. And now bring the fingertips of, uh, onto the shoulders and try to circle the elbows together. And as you circle the elbows together, allow the back to round. And as you take the elbows wide, think of drawing your shoulder blades together, lifting the chest and looking up. So you're looking down as the elbows come together, pushing out the tummy as the elbows go wide. That's it, just one more in this direction, and then reverse. So looking up as the elbows go wide, looking down and rounding the back as the elbows come together. So just including um, flexion and extension of the spine, good. And then please leave that alone, bring the arms by the side. And then just bring the uh, palm of the right hand to the back of the head and think of reaching to try and touch the ceiling as you reach the arm out to the side. So other hand, brush the back of the head lightly as if you're trying to touch the ceiling. So there's a shift of weight through the pelvis as you're alternating, reaching one arm up and then the other to try and touch the ceiling. Good. Once more each side, good. And then last time, good. And then release. Now, um, bring the fingertips to touch in front of you, so lightly making contact with the fingers and then just stretch the palms forward, bringing the heel of the hand together, and then release. Point the fingers down towards the floor, release, towards me, release, towards the ceiling, release, and then towards yourself, release. So once more, ceiling, away from you, towards the floor, away from you, towards the ceiling, and then see if you can point them towards yourself, release. Now, press the palms together, 
but extend the fingers back and release. So you just lightly press the palms and the heel of the hand into each other to extend the fingers back. Once more, press the palms together, extend the fingers back and then just loosely um, interlace the fingers and begin to uh, wrestle the wrists around each other, just looking here to warm up, prepare the wrists and that and the hands and then pause and change this so you have the other index finger on top and then again just begin to loosely wrestle the wrist. You feel how that lovely movement travels into the whole of the arm. Now pause, flex back your fingers and palms, have the elbows in line with the wrist and think of just the elbows coming together, release, elbows coming together, release, and then turn the hands around, and again think of just the elbows coming together, release, once more elbows coming together, good, and then release, and then hook the fingers over each other, and think of just drawing the inner edges of the shoulder blades together to try and pull the fingers apart, release, turn the hands around, and again think of the shoulders are drawing together, to pull on the fingers, release. Take hold of one forearm and then the other. And then just, so you're wringing out the bones of the arms in one direction, release. Again, just contracting and release. And then turn that around so the hands are facing in the other direction. And then just wring out the bones, release. And once more, just wringing out the bones, good and then release. Now um, please bring your um, uh, right hand just onto the tummy, the palm onto the tummy, and then begin to just move the hand towards the breastbone. So the, the palm then faces forward, it's the back of my hand that's on the breastbone, and come back down. So again, just sliding the hand up towards the breastbone, and then back down. Once more, sliding the hand up towards the breastbone. And then pause there and begin to move the hand over towards the left shoulder and then towards the right shoulder. Just over to the left shoulder and over to the right shoulder. And once more, over to the left, come back to middle. Just let that hand come back down. And then once more, right hand again, so you're sliding it as you turn it towards the breastbone. And then bring your left hand just to cup the right elbow. So I'll just show that from the side. And think of just moving your elbow a little bit forward and a little bit back. So just a little bit forward and a little bit back. Can you feel how the shoulder blade, the right shoulder blade, is going forward and back? Good. And then pause in the same position and just begin to turn the elbow and the head and eyes a little bit to the left. Just turning the elbow a little bit to the left. Of course, you can allow the left knee to slide back, the right knee to go a little bit forward to help you and then begin to turn the head and eyes in the opposite direction to the elbow. So the elbow is going to the left, but you're turning the head and eyes to the right. Good. And then leave that alone. Just bring the arm back down by the side. And then um, bring your left hand onto the tummy and begin just to slide the back of the hand towards the breastbone and release. So towards the breastbone, so the palm faces forward and release. Good. Once more, just sliding it up. And then stay with the back of the hand on the breastbone and begin to slide the hand over to the right and to the left. To the right, as, as if it's going to disappear underneath the armpit, and then as though it's going to disappear underneath the armpit on the left hand side. 
and then pause when the hand is on the breastbone in the middle again, cup the left elbow with the right hand and begin just to move, nudge the elbow a little bit forward and back. So not a big movement, forward and back, but can you feel how it, the shoulder blade just moves a little bit away from the spine to do that. And then pause and begin to turn the elbow to the right and then come back. The elbow to the right, looking with the head and eyes to the right and come back. Once more, elbow to the right and come back. And then the next time, keep the head and eyes looking forward as you take the elbow to the right, head and eyes looking forward and come back. And once more, head and eyes looking forward and then come back. Now, um, bring your right hand onto the tummy again and once more slide it up to the breastbone and then see, can you take the arm over to the right slide it up and down the side of the body a few times and then can you begin to slide the hand behind you so the lower hand, sorry the back of the hand comes into the area of the lower back and then can you just make some circles around the area of the lower back reaching round to the other side maybe to the opposite shoulder blade good and then release and then please bring your left hand onto the tummy slide it up towards the breastbone see if you can take it over to the left into the area of the armpit and then slide the hand up and down the side of the body a few times and then can you allow it to slide to the back to the, the, the back area and then just begin to make some circles in space at the back of the hand in one direction and then the other and then see maybe could you reach around to the other other side good and then release now please bring your right arm forward at shoulder height and then begin to reach the arm forward and back, keeping the arm long but soft, but turning the arm around itself in one direction and then the other. You reach the arm as far forward as you can safely do so, turning the arm around its axis and hopefully you're feeling how that shoulder blade again is moving to move the arm good and then release and then please bring your left arm forward at shoulder height and begin to reach the left arm forward and back so just turning the arm around itself letting your weight shift tummy out as the arm reaches forward tummy in as the arm reaches back and then um, pause bring both hands forward and begin to reach both arms forward and both arms back turning the arms around yourself as you do that. So you're keeping the arms long but soft. Good. Reaching the arms forward and back. Good. So just a recap of some of the earlier lessons we did for neck and shoulders. And now could you bring your right arm behind you? Now some of you will be able to just get it to here others will be able to have the arm much higher. So you have it as high as you comfortably can, but if that means being lower, that's um, being comfortable is the priority, not how high. But if you can have it higher, begin, look towards the hand 
and begin to reach it away from you and then you draw the arm towards you, turning it around its, around its axis. So coming towards you and away from you, but keep looking at the hand all the time as it's reaching forward and away. Good. And then pause. Pause. Please bring the uh, left arm behind you, again, wherever is comfortable in terms of height for you. And then begin to reach the left arm away and towards you. So you're turning the arm around its axis, looking towards it all the time. And in particular, when you shorten the arm towards you, can you feel how the shoulder rolls forward? Then the chin is almost can rest, rest on the shoulder. Okay. Now pause, just rest the arm down by the side. And then bring both arms behind you. So bringing both means you won't get them so high. And then begin to turn the arms around themselves as you look up and draw the arms towards you as you look down. So turning the palms up as you look up and extend the spine, drawing the shoulders towards you as you round the back. Good. Just a few more. Easy, easy breathing. Good. And then release. And then, uh, do you remember also we did a lesson with soft fists taking the arms at shoulder height with super soft fists. And then we thought of rolling the fists down as you look down, rolling the fists up as you look up. So allowing the back and to round as the shoulders roll forward, extending the back to look up as the arms roll in the other direction. And then pause, just rest the arms. Hopefully shoulders are feeling well prepared for the lesson. We're still in the warm-up uh, phase, so you'll understand why I'm spending quite a bit of time um, with warm-up. And then please bring the arms out at shoulder height. Take the feet a bit wider and then begin to Alternate one arm is turning up, one palm is turning up as the other is turning down. So you're ringing out, trying to really reach out to the side as if you're impaling someone with your sword, looking towards the hand that's turning up. Good. And then change this so you're looking to the arm that's shortening towards you. So just nice, easy rhythm. Good. And then pause and rest the arms back down by the side. And let's now take a, a rest. So a, a rest means a good opportunity to practice our ability to move through weight transference. So you think of bringing the weight onto your left sit bone through side bending, not tilting. Take your right knee back, come onto two sit bones transfer the weight onto your right sit bone, move the left knee back, come onto two sit bones, move over onto the left sit bone, take your right knee back, and so on and so forth, practicing this skill, and it is a skill, of moving through weight, efficient weight transference rather than tilting. Good. And then just have a rest, notice how the shoulders are feeling, how the breath is and then let's begin to walk forward again to the front edge of the chair so okay. such a good pop place to practice our walking our walking skill to come towards the front edge of the chair now I'm going to stop mirroring now <laughs> because life's going to get too, too complicated 
So um, could you bring your le uh, left arm forward and rest it in the crook of the right elbow? Okay. It looks like that. Your left arm is long, hand is soft, and you're resting it, if possible, in the crook of the right elbow. And then just see, can you keep the, the, arm, the left arm in the crook of the right elbow, but bring your left hand to touch anywhere where you can in the area of the right shoulder. So just looking to wherever you can touch or slide the hand is good. Maybe you can explore the neck, part of the side of the head, the back of the head with the left hand. So just give yourself time to do this. The important thing is to check that you're not holding the breath or clenching the, the jaw. And then see, can you touch the, the left shoulder with the left hand, left hand keeping the left arm in the crook of the right elbow. So just exploring both shoulders, the back of the neck, maybe the back of the head, just trying to keep the hands soft, good, and then release. Um, usually you hear me say that um, these are all my favourite lessons. This doesn't quite fall into that um, bracket, partly because it challenges my structure. I'll, <laughs> I've got short legs and uh, short arms, wear a long trunk. If you're lucky enough to have the opposite, long limbs and, um, and uh, a short trunk, you'll find this parts of this lesson much easier. <laughs> so please bring the left arm forward again. Once more, place it in the crook of the right elbow and begin to reach the arm a little bit forward, the left arm a little bit forward and back. It's as if you're soaring the inside of the right arm with the left arm. And as you're reaching it forward and back, you're just trying to turn the arm around its axis, just forward and back. And then pause, just rest the arms for a minute. Good. And then um, once more, bring the left arm into the crook of the right elbow. And now with your right hand, can you maybe touch the left shoulder, the left shoulder, just wherever you can touch the back of the neck or the head, just wherever you can comfortably explore. Maybe you can touch the right shoulder with the right hand or the right hand side of the face. It doesn't matter if it's with the back of the right hand or the palm of the hands or the fingers, but you're just looking to see where can you maybe touch on that right shoulder Good, and then release. You just notice how the two shoulders are feeling. And then bring your left arm, so I'm not mirroring now, the left arm to the inside of the left knee. Good. And begin to reach the arm down towards the floor and then um, you come back up to sitting. So as you're reaching the arm down, you're turning the arm around itself. So I'm turning it clockwise. As I come back up, I'm turning the arm anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So reaching down and stay looking at the hand all the time so as you're reaching the arm down, turning it clockwise, my chin is almost resting again on the shoulder 
and then you come back up. So just turning the arm around itself, letting the shoulder roll forward. And as you're undoing, it's you're thinking of the shoulder blade coming back and turning to bring the arm back up. Good. Good. Now, um, pause for a moment. Pause for a moment. And then, could you bring the left arm to the other side of the of the right knee? The left arm to the other side of the right knee. And begin again to reach it down, turning the arm around itself and then coming back up. So you stay looking, so if you wanted to look over your left shoulder as the arm is coming back and then coming back up. Good. Once more, shoulder, good, and then back. And then the, the, next, the next time you reach down, turn the arm counterclockwise. And as you come back up, turn it clockwise. So counterclockwise as you're reaching the arm down, clockwise as you're reaching the arm up. Good. Nice, easy movement. So we've changed the pattern. Good. And then pause and rest. And then once more, bring the right hand over to the other side of the, um, sorry, the left hand to the other side of the right knee. And begin to reach the arm down again. And then stay down and see, can you hook the right elbow underneath the right arm and then come back up to sitting and then just see with your left hand again where can you comfortably caress or stroke on the right hand side the right shoulder maybe you can explore the back of the head the base of the skull maybe you can touch the left shoulder, the left side of the neck, with the left hand. Good. Good. And then release. And then just see, with the right hand, can you touch, where can you touch with the right hand? Maybe you can touch the right shoulder, the left shoulder, the back of the neck, the back of the head. Good. And then release. And just notice how that, that left shoulder is feeling compared to the, to the right. And then once more, bring the left arm into the crook of the right elbow. And begin just to move the arm forward and back, soaring, turning it around itself. See if that's a little bit easier than it was before. Good. And then release. Good. Now, um, please bring, bring your right arm forward and bring that into the crook of the left elbow. Crook of the left elbow. Is it easier on the, with this cross? <laughs> and then with your right palm, can you explore the left shoulder, the back of the neck, the back of the head? So some places will be easy to reach, others it feels more constricted or constrained. So you're just giving yourself time to see where can you easily reach with that right hand. Maybe you can touch the right side of the neck, the right shoulder, shoulder too. You're allowed to move the head. <laughs> as well to facilitate this. Good. And then release. And then um, uh, what, bring the right arm inside the crook of the left elbow again. And just begin to explore reaching the right arm forward and back. 
keeping it in the crook of the left elbow as much as possible, but turning the arm around itself. So you're not just turning the hand, it's the shoulder, shoulder that's part of that. Good. And then release. Now, um, please bring your right arm to the inside of the right knee. The other hand just supports you on the thigh. And then begin to reach the arm towards the floor. And then you're coming back up. And as you're reaching the arm down, so for me it's a sense I'm unscrewing a jar. jar. The arm is turning counterclockwise as I'm reaching down and clockwise as I'm coming back up. Good. Really, can you feel it's the shoulder that's involved? Good. And then pause, just rest. And then um, bring the right hand onto the other side of the left knee and begin to reach down, just looking over the shoulder and then back up. And just notice again which direction is the arm turning as it's going towards the floor. Is the thumb turning counterclockwise? Mine certainly is as I'm reaching down and clockwise as I come back up. Good. And then pause and see if you can change that. So my thumb is turning clockwise as I reach down, counterclockwise as I come back up. Okay, this nice, easy breathing, letting your weight shift to do this. Good. And then the next time you reach down, whichever direction you're turning, stay there Can you hook the left arm under and come up to sitting. And then just explore with the right hand again, touching wherever you can comfortably caress on the area of the left shoulder, the back, back, the back of the neck, the skull, the head. Maybe you can bring the right hand to touch the right shoulder too. And then release. And then think of your left hand. Where can you comfortably touch with the le left hand? The area of the neck, maybe the left side of the neck, the left shoulder with the fingertips. Okay, wherever you can, can is good. And then release. And then um, what, bring the right arm inside the crook of the left elbow again. And just explore soaring the arm forward and back, turning the arm around itself as you do. Good. Good. And then please pause. Let's just take a rest. Let's walk to the back edge of the chair. So begin the, to move through side bending to transfer the weight to the back, um, to move yourself to the back of the chair. Just take a brief rest at the back. Just again, notice how the shoulders are feeling, the neck muscles, they'll certainly have been challenged <laughs> by, by the, um, the variations. And then please could you begin to walk forward again towards the front edge of the chair. And this time could you bring the left arm forward again first, bring it into the crook of the right elbow. And now, can you explore with both hands, trying to touch the area of the back of the neck? Um, some of you might be able to bring interlace the fingers or have the fingertips touching. Just think, where can you reach? Maybe you can explore coming to the top of the head, behind the back of the head and the neck. That's it, just seeing. Maybe you could turn the palm, so the backs of the hands are exploring the back of the head, okay, or wherever you can reach, maybe one palm is turned 
towards the neck, the other at the back of the hand, you can switch, switch, whichever, whichever is, is feasible for you. Good. Good. And then release. And then um, please, this time, cross your right arm over the left into the crook of the elbow. And again, with both hands now, just see where can you comfortably explore or um, bring the hands to touch behind the neck, um, maybe the back of the head. Does it help to turn the backs of the hands towards the head? or one palm turned or then the other, just, you know, just doing whatever you can comfortably do to breathe, breathe as you're exploring, exploring this movement. And then release. Just noticing how, the, how that feels. Now, um, I'm going to use my sock. <laughs> But let me, uh, so the original instruction, I'll just explain. The original instruction is, could you bring your right arm forward and take hold of the little finger with the palm up, take hold of the little finger with the, of, the, of the right hand with the left hand, so the left hand takes hold of the little finger. And then you are trying to see, can you bring the right elbow into the crook of the left elbow? Now, I can't. <laughs> I can't. My arms are the wrong proportion. Some of you might be able to easily do that. So I have got a sock. A sock. So, and I've, I've just got hold of either ends of the sock in front of me. And then I think, can I, can I bring my right elbow into the crook of the left elbow and then release? So just think, can you bring the crook of the elbow, um, the, sorry, the right elbow into the crook of the left elbow? Good. And then bring the hands maybe to touch the back of the, the neck, release. So as you get used to this, you can have a longer um, space between the hands, but you try and bring them closer together. Can you bring the right elbow through the crook, into the crook of the left elbow? Good. And release. Once more. Good. And then release. Then just rest for a moment. And um, if I, I can... If I do that, cross the elbows, then I can just about take hold of the little finger, but it's a strain, so I'm not going to do it because it's a strain. We want easy movements. And then bring the, bring your, um, if you aren't using um, a sock or something, then bring the sock forward again. And now could you bring the left elbow into the crook? of the right elbow. So just seeing, can you bring the elbow into the crook of the right elbow? And then maybe you keep that and just see where can you reach with the fingertips on the back of the neck or between the shoulder blades. Release. And now try to alternate. So you bring the right elbow into the crook of the left elbow release the left elbow into the crook of the right elbow. So just going from one side to the other, good, and then release. Just put the, put the sock to one side for a moment. And then come back to having the left arm forward Bring it into the crook of the right elbow, then maybe that's a little bit easier for you now. And just see where can you touch with the left hand now, the area of the neck and the shoulders. Maybe you can touch the left shoulder as well. And then try with the right hand, so wherever you can touch. 
is good. Good. And then release. And then have the left arm in the crook of the right arm. Again, just see where can you... Sorry, got other, whichever hand it is, the right hand. Just whichever exploring wants with one hand and then the other. To see where can you comfortably reach on those shoulders. Good. And then let go. Good. Just right. Now... Just bring the um, left arm forward and just try reaching forward and back now. The, can you allow, think of the arm beginning with the chest and the spine so that you're moving the body to move the arm. Good. And then just try with the other arm, so you're thinking not of pulling the arm forward with the hand, it's you're moving the arm because of how you're shifting weight through the centre. So um, I'll uh, end the lesson there, a tough one, I'll be interested to hear your um, uh, thoughts, a tough lesson, um, uh, particularly that last variation. Uh, and uh, thank you very much everyone.